I can see, are you nice and comfortable? Yeah? Okay. What brings you in today? Yeah? Okay. Now, I did pull up your record just before you came in. And I could see that you had visitors and you wasn't your checkup at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been having this sensitivity for? there hasn't been any sensitivity that you've had um, sort of over a long period you wasn't having this at your last checkup is that correct? yeah okay well what we can do is we can get you popped up in the chair I'll have a quick look around and we'll see what's what's going on yeah is the sensitivity just in one area or is it widespread or okay let me get a few things ready and we can have a look yeah. see what we can do. Okay. Are you nice and comfortable? Yeah? Okay. Are you a smoker at all? Yeah. Do you drink? Drink alcohol? <laughs> yeah. Um, I tend to find that most people that say they only have one or two just kind of double what they say they have tends to be close to the truth. So any drug, any drug use? No. Any bleeding conditions that I should know about? Yeah. Anything, are you any, any blood thinners or any medications? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look then. It's going to come in a little bit isn't it when you've got a mouthful of tools okay I'm just having a look um, just to make sure there's no um, obvious gum disease or any receding gum line that could be causing an issue also just making sure there's no of the enamel anywhere that could be um, could be causing a sensitivity at all. Okay, just have a look down this side. Okay, so it is a little bit sensitive there. Okay, I won't poke that bit again. <laughs> I just move it. Yeah, that 
maybe causing a little bit of sensitivity yeah both cotton, hot and cold and how sensitive are we are we talking are we talking because um, I mean there is a certain level of sensitivity that quite a lot of people have um, for instance you couldn't bite into an ice cream a lot of people have that level of sensitivity um, and can just use sensodyne or not just that one but there's quite a few different ones um, the tip of sensitive teeth or we can have ones that have become very sensitive that can be a response to worn down enam enamel and cavities um, and they can be as sensitive as when you take a deep breath in in the cold air and that can actually be quite painful yeah so there's varying degrees of sensitivity yeah but if this is becoming a problem for you do you drink um, fizzy cokes, fizzy pops, sugary drinks quite often. Okay. What we do say is when you're drinking those sugary drinks, try to stick to a meal time. If you are going to have a sugary drink, it is best to stick to a meal time when you're consuming them. And if possible, drink through a straw. Yeah. Because when we have a can or a bottle and we drink, we tend to swill the liquid and it covers all of our teeth surfaces. If we drink through the straw we do manage to sort of bypass a lot of the front teeth, some of the side but a lot of the front teeth, if we do that through a straw. Mm. But preferably if you can stick it to meal times, yeah, and never ever before you go to sleep at night, never before you go to sleep at night. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to come back in again if you can just open wide for me. Thank you very much. That is perfect. Right, we'll come in having a little poke there and a little look. Okay, okay. Good. Perfect. Good. 
Yeah, you stay very still, been the perfect patient. Especially because I remember reading your records before. Um, when you last visited, and I remember how nervous you were. Yeah. So, I'm very proud of you for coming back. See me with this, yeah. Because prevention is always better than the cure. So if we can catch something just as it's becoming an issue for you, then we can. We have a lot better chance at resolving it, so that it doesn't become something like a tooth loss or. Can be the difference between us performing a filling or having to go to the extremes of root canals or even extraction which we don't want to do. If we can save a tooth we're, we're definitely going to opt for that. <laughs> Good. And how's this feeling? Are you, are you still feeling okay? Good, good. Go back in there then. I'm just cleaning a few little built up areas of plaque there. Just making sure we've got them off for you. Make sure they're nice and clean for you. Staying very still, which is perfect for me. Perfect for me. Okay. Good. I'm just going to switch. I'm going to get down this side. Good. Very good. You're doing very good. Anything that I'm doing does feel at all too uncomfortable or painful. Nothing that I'm doing should be too painful, but if anything does feel a little painful, please let me know. Okay. Good. You're doing great. managed to clear off quite a few areas where there's just been a little bit of a plaque build up. So what I would advise is when you are brushing, if we can really try to get to those back ones right in the back and right in the corner, in that sort of pouch area, because food debris can get stuck in there. And if we are, say, eating in the morning and then we're going throughout the day, we're having our lunch, tea throughout the day, drinking maybe sugary drinks <laughs> and then not getting brushed off our teeth. We have this area where they can just build up around them back teeth. Yeah. Which we don't want happening. No. So what I will do now is I will just put a coat over your teeth and um, just give them a little bit of an extra protection. Okay. We can just sit back a little bit again and On your teeth there. Okay. This doesn't taste great, but there's <laughs> definitely worse tasting things than this. But yeah, it doesn't taste great. Just wipe it all over these ones. Yeah. 
bit more with my hand there and go around this front area here. Good. Great. And then just the back ones over here on this side. We'll make sure we get a nice coating on those ones. Just get some on the top teeth because we don't want those to miss out at all. <laughs> and right to those back ones as well. Perfect. 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 And just look at these back ones. on all your teeth there that should help protect them. We've cleaned small areas of plaque buildup although there wasn't anything so special. If you don't have any cavities or any thinning of the enamel um, which can sometimes be the cause of sensitive teeth. Unfortunately some people just are a little bit more, just a tiny bit more susceptible to um, this tooth sensitivity, tooth sensitivity. What I am going to do is I'll just get you some um, dental care that you can take with you, some toothpaste, which is fantastic for sensitive teeth. We'll get that popped down and we'll send you away with some floss as well because flossing is always good. <laughs> so I'll just pop a few notes in, okay? And if you can make sure that those fizzy drinks are just at meal time, that would be fantastic. And your next checkup is due in let's have a look. Your next checkup is due in four months. Okay. Would you like me to book you in for that now? I have the system up anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. myself. <laughs> I normally leave that to the receptionist. Yeah. But, okay. So the toothpaste should really help with that sensitivity. Um, again, if you have any problems in the meantime before your checkup that's due, please contact us and you can come and see us as many times as you need to. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye bye now.